You want to get fabric mods in Minecraft 1.21.5? Let's go ahead and do it. First things first, we need to download the fabric mod loader itself. It's the second link in the description down below and it will take you here. Once you're here, scroll down and click download fabrics. Go to fabrics official download page. On this page, go ahead and click on the download universal jar. The reason we're downloading that is because it will allow you to get other Minecraft mods easier in the future. Let's go ahead and click save here and the download will begin. And while that's downloading, come and mess from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below breakdown.xyz slash sgh for the simplest and easiest way to start a minecraft server and begin playing with your friends you can easily add mods like fabric mods to your server but also mod packs with one click installation as well as plugins truthfully you can customize your server any way that you want plus there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way so stop strong and host a minecraft server and play minecraft with your friends the simple way at the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh nevertheless with fabric downloaded there's a few more things we need to do and that is one download the fabric api this is an api library mod that's required for a lot of fabric mods i would say over half of fabric mods need this so it's good to just go ahead and get it now that way you don't have to worry about it later on so this is linked down below we can come here and click download to go to the download page on curseforge where you click on files find the 1.21.5 version click the three dots and click download file and again might need to keep or save this file but it's 100 percent safe to do that the other places that you'll normally find minecraft mods are of course course forwards where we are now and moderate those are the two most popular places let's go ahead and filter on the left hand side for fabric and 1.21.5 mods fabric mods are the mods you have to use if you try to use forge or neo forge mods they won't work so you need to make sure you're using fabric mods then we want to go to waystones here in this case because i want to show you if you go to files here what to look for so let's go ahead and search for the version we want which is 1.21.5 fabric here it is don't download this though go ahead and click on it that's because because if we go to related projects here, Waystones has a required dependency in Bomb here. It also requires the Fabric API, but we've already taken care of that. But Bomb is new. We've not heard of that before. And if you just downloaded this mod, and tried to install it, it wouldn't work. So make sure when you're downloading mods, you check this to see if there's a dependency because we need to download this as well. Let's go ahead first to download Bomb. There we go. And we can go ahead and download Bomb. I said Bomb earlier, I meant Waystones. And go ahead and download Bomb here again, grabbing the fabric 1.21.5 version right like so now i also want to mention here how to find this on moderate we can of course filter on the left hand side for fabric 1.21.5 and we'll use waystones as the example here as well but we will need to search for it there it is and we can go into versions and we want to click on the 1.21.5 fabric version and under dependencies there it is bomb ready to go so you can see how you can see these dependency mods on both curseforge and moderate allowing you to make sure that you can get these installed and working no matter what. Now, let's go ahead and get these mods working. To do that, we want to go ahead and move the files we downloaded from our desktop or from our downloads folder to our desktop. And here we have Bomb. And then we have Waystones, which is required for Bomb. We also have Fabric API, which in theory is also required for Waystones. So kind of all this is just to get the Waystones mod, but yeah. Then we have the Fabric installer itself here to get the Fabric mod loader. We're going to start with that. So go ahead and right click on it. Click on Open With. Click Java and the Fabric installer will open. But what if it doesn't? Or what if you don't have Java when you right click Open With at all? Well, in that case, you need to get Java 21 from the description down below. This is how to get Java for Minecraft mods. It goes over everything you need to know to get Java up and running for Minecraft mods like Fabric, and we also have the jar fix link down below. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer like Fabric and link it back to Java, making them work happily together. But first, get Java, then run the jar fix, and you'll be able to right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java, and open up Fabric where we can make sure the version we want, 1.21.5 in this case, is selected and create profiles checked. Then click Install, and it will install Fabric right like so. The only reason it wouldn't is if Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are open. Open. Make sure both of those are closed when installing Fabric, and make sure that you've played Minecraft 1.21.5 before. If you've not played it before, this won't work, so just go open it up to the main menu, close out of it, and you'll be good to go. Now we can close out of the Fabric installer and actually delete it. We want to open up the Minecraft launcher. Then in the Minecraft launcher, we will have a Fabric installation. We can see that that's already selected by default here, but don't play Minecraft yet. We need to install the mods first. So let's go to installations up here at the top. Make sure modded is checked. If it's not checked, Fabric won't be there at all. Check modded, there it is. But if you don't have the Fabric Loader 1.21.5 profile here, go ahead and click New Installation. You can name this anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then we want to click the Release Version drop down here, and we want to select 
release fabric loader 1.21.5. There we go. I'm gonna change the resolution so we can see better once we get in game, and this is an important step. Make sure launch after install is not checked. If this is checked, you'll launch Minecraft, which is okay, but you don't have to close back out of it to install the mod. Go ahead and click cancel here, and now what we wanna do is open up our mods folder. To do that, go ahead and hover over the fabric installation, either when you created or the one that's there by default, and click on the folder icon. And here you'll have a mods folder. If you don't, go ahead and create one. Just right click, new folder, and then title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase exactly like that. Open up your mods folder and drag and drop any mods you want to install in Fabric into this folder. In our case, that's the Fabric API. You'll probably have that too. And we're getting Waystone, so that means we need Bomb, the required dependency, and the Waystone mods itself for all of this to work. Now all our mods are installed, it's that easy. We can play Minecraft using our Fabric installation, and once we're in game, our mods will be active. One of the cool things about Fabric is you don't have to launch it to install the mods. You can just install the mods from here, launch Minecraft, and they're working. So I will meet you in game to show you just that. So here we are in game. There's no indication these mods are working, except for the bottom left, it does say Fabric. But if we go into single player here, we have Waystones. I already have kind of a pre-made world for this, just to show that they're working. And once we're in game here, we can go ahead and open up Creative here, and there is the Waystones mod. You can see I've already got some of my inventory here. We can place these down and easily teleport between the ones that I have existing, the one that I just placed down that's untitled. I mean, you can teleport between all these, but Waystones is in fact working. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We will see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.